Hey Ryan, um, I got your question. You were having trouble with uh, exercise 447. So let's take a look at what they're asking us here. It says the make a bid method includes the following two statements bid, bid equals, okay. So it says bid, bid equals new bid. So here we have a, a constructor creating a bid object, right? It says new bid with the inputs bidder and value. And that creates a bid object. And then here we have a line that says Boolean successful, selected lot, bid for bid. So what we have here is there's a selected lot object. And we're using dot notation here to call this method bid for on the selected lot. So just to um, clarify, let's see, let me compile this guy. So it's uh, the lot method that has, um, I mean, it's, I'm sorry, it's the lot class that has the bid for method, right? Bid for, yeah, right here. So what we're doing in make a bid is we, we have this selected lot so we're getting it says when we do a get lot we get a a lot object and we're loading that into the selected lot um, variable okay so now we have this selected lot object and we're calling um, bid for we're calling the bid for method on that lot object okay so here we're creating a bid with this construct, this this new, so we have a constructor, right, called bid. Let's just check that one out. We have a, a constructor called bid that takes a bidder and a long value. Okay, so we we construct a new bid with this guy. And remember, the constructors um, are capitalized, just like the um, and have, have exactly the same name as the class and there's no return value for these guys so, so this is our constructor this is what's creating our new bid object right that's here okay so and then we use the new keyword along with the, the constructor and its inputs to create a new bid and then for successful bid for is again that's that's here in lot and that takes a bid object and returns a boolean a true or a false okay so that's boolean all right and so they want us to uh, it says the, the bid variable is only used here as a placeholder for the newly created bid object right so we create the bid object with uh, this business right that creates our bid object and then um, we have that can I undo that? Oh, I guess not. and then we have that now we have all this stuff loaded up into we have a, we have a new object loaded into our, our, our variable bid so bid now points to this bid object and then we can we can put uh, we can use bid here but what they're saying here is the bid variable is only used as a placeholder for the newly created bid object um, rewrite these statements to eliminate the bid variable by using an anonymous object as seen in the enter lot method so let's take a look at the enter lot method that's up here isn't it? yeah and so here see we're using an anonymous uh, we're you know we're creating it we're basically so what makes this anonymous is we're creating the object but we're not giving it a name we're not assigning it um, so here when we say new bid bidder value we're assigning it to bid right we're giving it a name and then we use that name over here in enter lot um, what we're doing is we're creating this new lot object but we're not giving it a name we're just saying new lot object and just 
um, putting this whole um, you know constructor and the keyword new inside parentheses and just passing it directly to the um, to the add method in lots. Okay, so we're creating a new object and just passing it directly instead of giving it a name. So we could have done something like um, lot plot equals and just copy this right equal I'll cut it actually equals new lot and and then we could have said add lot okay so we could have uh, given a name to this object when we created it and then use that name in here but instead what we did was just undoing here. Instead what we did was we just loaded it directly into the we just gave it directly to the method uh, with that by just sticking it in here like that. Okay. So to do the same thing with make a bid what you want to do is instead of assigning this um, new object a name and use and sticking the name in here we just take the wholly constructed piece here and um, put it here in place of bid okay so um, um, I think you should have an idea of what to do if you're give it give it a shot and see if it works and then if you're still not sure um, give me a try but I think I think that should be um, a good hint for you and then like I said if you're if you're not sure let me know